Uh, what, what, what's next? I mean, uh, you know, you had the fight with Pettis. It didn't go your way. Uh, do, you, do you have, I mean, we got the South Carolina card coming up next week. Uh, when are you looking to get back in there? Yeah, I really wanted to be on that South Carolina card, obviously. I mean, I felt the UFC, or we, me and my dad worked really hard to, to get him to come to my hometown. But, uh, yeah, man, the Nashville car uh, fight didn't go the way I wanted it to and got put out. So we're looking at probably fall. I would love to get on that Madison Square Garden card. It would be awesome. That's kind of like my home away from home anyway. But uh, giving the summer off, just give my brain a little heal up and uh, the body to heal up as well. So, you know, I've, I've known a lot of guys to get knocked out and try and jump back out there, which is what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. and barely get clipped and not the same anymore. So I just want to make sure this is all right before I step back out there. You had one of the best responses to a loss, I think, in professional sports across the board. I mean, you're so gracious and just, you know, for someone getting knocked out like that, what was the response like, not only from fans, but the MMA community in general? Because it just seemed like you really set a good example of how to uh, a loss. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's been great, man. A lot of uh, fighters actually messaged me on social media telling me to keep my chin up that, uh, you know, what I, what I was, you know, said win or lose was kind of inspirational. So that really meant a lot. But I don't know what it was, man. As soon as I got out of the back, I had a smile on my face. Like, I don't remember getting out of the ring or anything. All I remember was getting up off the stool, looking at Anthony, because and, and, his nose was bleeding like crazy. I knew it was broken, so I'm like, all right, I'm going to be a little more aggressive. And that's all I remember. I remember going to the back, and, like, these sparkles went away, and I see Chris Weidman's face just smiling at me. I'm like, hey, man. He's like, what's up? And he was, like, laughing because I've asked him the same question 13 times. So, yeah, man, it was definitely a weird experience, but, hey, I'll be back. I'll be back. So. How's the YouTube channel coming along? Oh, it's great, man. <laughs> Steven Wonderboy Thompson, check out the YouTube channel. It's been great. We actually dropped that episode Thursday. Uh, you know, every Tuesday we're doing a tips and tricks, like a kind of Technique Tuesday type deal. So, uh, getting a lot of positive feedback on it. And uh, this is something we've been wanting to do for a while now anyway, me and my brother. And finally we just committed and we made it happen. So, it's a lot of fun. Learning along the way, though. We're, we're, we're learning, so it's, it's good. What do you make of Anthony's upcoming fight against Nate Diaz? I mean, it seems to be a lot of animosity. Yeah, man. I, I don't know why. I don't know if it's the fact that Anthony called him out, and Nate hasn't had a fight I don't know how long. So whatever, yeah, uh, it, whatever Anthony did, it must have lit a little fire in him because he's wanting to, you know, he's fighting. So I think it's going to be a great fight for both of them. Um, of course, I think I'm rooting for Anthony just because he beat me last, and I've been a fan of his for a while anyway. So, um, but uh, I think the only thing Nate's got him, he's got, he's definitely got the reach, but he's just a relentless guy. He takes a lot of damage, which that tires a lot of his opponents out. Taking that damage, as his opponents start getting tired, then he just takes over. So it's going to be a good fight. With, with losing the way you did, do you want kind of, you know, a, a, someone that's not in the top five for your next fight just to kind of get back on, on the horse, so to speak? You know what? I, I was actually wanting somebody from, you know, anybody in the top five, to be honest with you. RDA, Ponzi and EBL, uh, I don't know if Darren, uh, Till has anything coming up, but anybody in that top group would be awesome. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. You know, I've got a, uh, I'm, I'm back into training, by the way. I'm not, I'm not doing any heavy lifting or heavy sparring or anything, but, uh, you know, doing more, mostly skills and stuff. But, man, I mentioned the business, step back out there, do it again. I don't care who it's with. Wonderboy, what continues the motivation now? Man, you know, I, this is something I've been doing for a long time, since I was three years old, and I've always been very competitive. So, um, man, I, I told myself I'm going to do this as long as my body will let me or when my coach says, says I'm done. When, once my dad, Pop, says I'm done, it's over. But, man, this is what I love to do. I love hanging out with you guys. The fans are great. And, um, you know, not only do I want to be known in the Antigone as one of the best fighters who ever lived, but you know, a good man at that. So. Father's Day is coming up, man. Could you expand on what your father means to you? Man, my dad is everything to me. I don't know what I'm going to do when that time comes, but, uh, you know, we've shared our, I mean, a, I know a lot of people who don't spend that time with their dad. My dad was one of them with his grandfather. You know, he died when I was, a young, when I was very young, but I remember my dad telling me at a young age that his dad would always say, hey, you need to hang out with your dad, and I'm not going to be around long enough. And my pops didn't take him seriously. Next thing you know, he ended up, Dying in a car accident, that's something he regrets. So I, I like to consider myself a very uh, observant person and trying to learn from that and just try and spend as much time with my dad as possible. And uh, he's a very wise dude, and I wouldn't be the man I am if it wasn't for him. I respect that. Thanks, man. Thank you. How's the Twitch channel going? Oh, man. It's a blast. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm, I'm, I'm a video game fanatic. I'm Call of Duty in it, Call of Duty in it right now. I love Apex, but it's fun, man. It's a good way to kind of get on there and, and chat with your fans. 
You know, everybody that's on the... Trash talk. You don't seem like the guy, type of guy to trash talk anyone. In no, game. I don't, but I rage, man. Yeah. I, I'm a rage. I've already went through like three controllers already. <laughs> Just like smashing them things down. But uh, it's fun. It's a good way to talk to the fans, and the fans love it, man. Yeah. Just sitting there and chat with them. You know, uh, after a big fight comes up, uh, the next day I'll get on and you like to say, all right, we're going to be talking about the fights. And it's crazy the, the kind of support and uh, stuff you get when people want to talk about the fights. They get on and... We just chat for about an hour, four hours. Next thing I know, I'm looking down. I've been playing video games for like four or five hours. So I'm like, oh my god, it's killing me. But I love it, man. I love what it. What can we expect from your teammate Carl Reed on Contender Series? Carl Reed is the next big thing, man. I mean, he's a big 205er. He moves like I do. He's he's not the typical 205er, man. He 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 moves around like he's like one, a 155er. But uh, you know, he's the uh, one of my wrestling coaches as well. He wrestles, uh, re one of the wrestling coaches at Limestone University, but he's got my stand-up. And you're gonna see, he, he's definitely an up-and-coming prospect and is gonna do work in the, in the Contender Series. Will you be there for his fight? Are you gonna corner him? I was, I was going to, I was, well, I don't know if I was gonna corner him, but he's already got his coaches. Uh, but be there as, as a teammate, yes. I know they switched it from July to I think August. So we'll see what my schedule's like. I really wanna be there for him. So hopefully, it, I, I've been busy this whole summer teaching classes every day you know that we have a hard time when one of our teachers goes out to fight or to coach so we I got to pick up the slack so hopefully I'll be able to catch his fight so last night you didn't do too hot and it took you a lot. but you saw you said you probably come the last <laughs> yeah yeah so we were on the Eric Hawani show last night and it was me Ben Askren um uh Steve Amiocic uh yeah Ed, yeah and so it was MMA trivia, and I'm horrible at MMA, man. I mean, if it if it's a good card, I'll watch it. But I was the first one out, and I knew that was going to happen. I told him if it wasn't Harry Potter trivia, I was going to suck. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I didn't do too well. Harry Potter. Yeah, man, that was like that was like my jam growing up was Harry Potter. So like, um, my nieces and nephews are all into it. So that's kind of something we have in common. So we talk about it all the time. But yeah, Harry Potter trivia was my jam, man. Back in the day, I still know it. Like every book. I know you already said that you hope Anthony beats Nate in that fight, but it is at 170. If Nate got past Anthony, do you have any interest in fighting him? Dude, I would love to fight Nate Diaz, man. He's he's a legend of the game for sure. I think I'm older than him, but still, man, he's he's a legend of the game. And uh, he's been in the game for a lot long, 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 longer than I have. So um, the dude's tough. I like I like his mentality. I like where his head's at, especially when it comes to the, the art of war. You know, it's, it's just awesome. So that would be a very cool fight, I think. We good to go, people? We good? All right, guys. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, guys.